The Yerhobos are people located in southern Nigeria, near the northwestern Niger Delta. The Yerhobo are the major ethnic group in Delta State, one of the 36 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Yerhobos speak the Yerhobo language. The word Yerhobo refers to a group of people rather than a territory. Approximately 2 million people are Yerhobos. They have a social and cultural affinity to the Edo people of Nigeria. The Yerhobo people live in a territory bounded by latitudes 6 degrees and 5 degrees, 15 degrees north and longitudes 5 degrees, 40 degrees and 6 degrees, 25 degrees east in the Delta and the Bielsa states of Nigeria. Their neighbors are the Isoko to the southeast, the Itsekiri and Ijaw to the west, the Edo people, Bani, to the north, the Ijaw to the south and the Yukuani people to the northeast. Yerhobo territory consists of evergreen forests with many oil palm trees. The territory is covered by a network of streams, whose volume and flow are directly affected by the seasons. The wet season is traditionally from April to October, and dry season ranges from November to March. Topic. Indigenous government and politics The Yerhobos are organized into two different political kingdoms, gerontocracies and plutocracies. A gerontocracy is a government run by elders, based on the age grade system, while a plutocracy is governed by the rich and wealthy, with some elements of gerontocracy. Although it is not clear which kingship is older among the kingdoms, their developments reached a climax in the 1940s and 50s. The Yerhobo government structure occurs at two levels, kingdom and town. The people are organized either by elders or by the wealthy. Yerhobo indigenous governments have an Ovi king, who is the highest political figure. The Ovi is the symbol of the kingdom's culture and royal predecessors. His councillors consist of the Adoda speaker, and the Ohovoran or Okokoro, addressed collectively as Alorogun singular, Olorogun. Other title holders are the executioners and the warriors Other political titles are specific to the different kingdoms. The judicial system places a clear distinction between civil and criminal offenses. The queen, is called Ovieya, and her children are known as Omo Ovi. Presently, this name is given to children without royal heritage. Some Yerhobo cultural divisions adopted titles other than Ovi. For example, the OKPE call their traditional ruler Oroje, Okur Yerhobo call theirs Orosuen, Agbarho uses Oswivi, Orogun use Okpara Uku mainly due to their proximity with Yukuani people, and the Yerhobos in the Olomu kingdom call their king Owarod. Some southern Yerhobo clans and communities also practice the Odio system, which is widespread in the Isoko region. Topic. Location Yerhobo is physically embedded in the Atlantic forest belt that stretches from Senegal in West Africa to Angola in Central Africa. Historically, this region was the most pristine in all of Africa. Until the Portuguese burst into its territories in the late 15th century, its forest peoples cultivated their own forms of civilization, untouched by outside influences. This forest belt of Western Africa was reached neither by ancient Christian influences, which had a large foothold in North Africa, nor by Islamic forces that came as far south as Hasseland by the 11th century. While East Africa and even Central Africa were touched by Asian and Arab influences from across the Indian Ocean, as the amalgam of Swahili language bears out, no similar transatlantic influences breached the forest belt until the Portuguese arrival in the late 15th century. The bulk of the Yerhobo people reside in the southwestern states of Delta and Bielsa in Nigeria, also referred to as the Niger Delta. Afoni is an Yerhobo community in Sagbama, local government area, in Bielsa. Afoni is about 40 kilometers by water to Sagbama. Many Yerhobos live in small and major cities in regions or local government areas in Ugeli, Wari, Abraka, Orerokpi and Sapele. Some Yerhobo major cities and towns include Akparabe, Arhavwarian, Wari, Sapele, Abraka and Ugeli. The following are local government areas where Yerhobo traditional homes are located in Delta and Bielsa. Ethiop East Ethiop West OKPE Sapele UDU Ugeli North Ugeli South Uvui Wari South Patani Sagbama in Bielsa State Ikpoba Oka in Edo State
Topic. Culture. Topic. Festivals. The Yerhobos live very close to, and sometimes in boats on the Niger River. Most of their histories, mythologies, and philosophies are water-related. Annual fishing festivals that include masquerades, fishing, swimming contests and dancing, that became part of the Yerhobo heritage. An annual, two-day, festival, called Owaru takes place in Evreni, the southern part of the Yerhobo area. During this festival the Owarhu water spirit and the Arabwe Oganga are displayed. Topic. Marriage Marriage in Yerhobo culture requires prayers to the ancestors Arabwin, and God Ogane. The marriage ritual, known as Udi Arhavwahe, takes place in the ancestral home of the bride or a patrilineal relation of the bride. The groom goes with his relatives and friends to the bride's father's home, bringing gifts of drinks, salt, cola nuts and occasionally food requested by the bride's family. Formal is given by the bride's parents, or whomever is representing the bride's family, as are the traditional rites of pouring gin, brought by the groom, as a tribute to the father's ancestors in order to bless them with health, children and wealth. After this marriage rite the husband can claim a refund of the money bride price should the marriage fail. It is believed that the ancestors witness the marriage, and only the physical body that is sent to the husband in the marriage, the Urhai spirit double, remains in the family home. This explains why a woman is brought back to be buried in her family home when she dies. In the ancestral home of the man, the wife is welcomed into the family by the eldest member. She is expected to confess all of her love affairs during and after her betrothal to her husband, if any, and is then absolved from of them. She becomes a full member of her husband's family after this ritual, and is assumed to be protected by the supernatural Aravwin. This ritual symbolizes an agreement between the wife and the Aravwin. If the wife later becomes unfaithful, it is believed that she will be punished by the Aravwin. This is why wives are faithful to their husbands. Yorhobo and Isoko Yorhobo has never been an homogeneous linguistic entity. Since time immemorial, Yorhobo has been colored by variation that occur on various levels. These variations manifest in the various Yorhobo clans and kingdoms. A specific dialect of Yorhobo has even broken off and become an individual ethnic nationality Isoko. Another dialect is prospecting at this option OKPE. The main reason for this break-off is that these dialects see themselves as individual groups. The Isoko dialect of Yorhobo is so broad and large that it is effectively a language of its own. Isoko is a proto-Edoid language and hence it is closer to how Yorhobo once was when the people said goodbye to their Benin progenitors. Isoko has its own sub-dialects such as Ayade, Urhoa, and He, Alomoro, Ole, etc. The main dialectal difference between Yorhobo and Isoko include, use of Degwo instead of Migwo for greeting, repetition of utterances and words i.e. Yanzobon Yanzobon come here, come here, different names for various objects, etc. James W. Welch once asserted that Isoko is a dialect of Yorhobo. For many years, most historians, linguists and cultural anthropologists are of the opinion that Isoko is just a dialect and a cultural unit of Yorhobo. In fact, this was upheld by the British that these two ethnic groups were once referred to as the Sobo people. Later on, the Isokos were called the Eastern Yorhobos. Till now, some people are of the belief that these two ethnic units are one due to similarities in culture, language, food and virtually everything. The Isoko and Yorhobo names for most items are mostly the same. They greet the same way Yorhobos say Migwar and Isokos say Digwar. Marriages are in the same tradition, traditional religion and philosophy is akin and even dressing is the same. The Yorhobo nation is made up of 24 sub-groups, including the largest, OKPE. Topic. Yorhobo calendar The Yorhobo Akpo week is made up of four days, based on regulated market cycles, religious worship, marriages and other community life. The four days are Eduwo, Eduruo, Edyur and Adebi. Eduwo and Edyur are sacred days to divinities, spirits and ancestors. Most markets are held on these days. On Eduwo, ancestors are venerated. Most traditional religious rituals are held on Edyur. Spirits are believed to be active in the farmlands and forests on Eduwo and Edyur. 
Therefore, farmers rarely work on these days so as not to disturb the spirits. Your hobo months are called emiravwe and are made up of 28 days. Most of the annual festivals are held during the months of Asa, Igaur, Oranra and Urhiori. These are the months of harvest, when farming activity is at its lowest, so most farmers are free to partake. These are also months to honor the gods of the land, as well as spiritual forces that brought a good harvest. Food As with most tribes in Nigeria, certain foods are considered to belong to or originate from a particular tribe. For example, pounded yam and aguzi soup come from the Yorubas EBA, and Ogbono soup, made from Irvinja gabonensis and sometimes referred to as Ogbolo soup, comes from people of Essen or Etsakor descent. Your hobos claim yukodo a yam and unripe plantain dish prepared with either beef, poultry, or fish, and spiced with lemon grass and potash, owevri emulsified palm oil soup, and starch yusi, made from the cassava plant. It is heated and stirred into a thick mound with added palm oil to give the starch its unique orange-yellow color. Owevri is composed of smoked or dried fish, bush meat, unique spices, potash and oil palm juice. Other delicacies of the Yorhobo tribe are palm nut oil soup and amidi or banga soup, often eaten with yusi and or gari. Banga is made from palm kernel. Other culinary delicacies include irabato, iriberhair and akpariku. <inaudible> Religion The main focus of Yorhobo traditional religion is the adoration of Ogane. Almighty God, the supreme deity, and recognition of Edjo and Erhan divinities. Some of these divinities could be regarded as personified attributes of Ogane. The Yorhobo also worship God with Orhen white chalk. If an Yorhobo feels oppressed by someone, he appeals to Ogane, who he believes to be an impartial judge, to adjudicate between him and his opponent. Ogane is the fundamental factor and manifestation of all divinities. Yorhobo divinities can be classified into four main categories, which probably coincide with historical development. These categories are guardian divinities, war divinities, prosperity divinities and fertility and ethical divinities. Erevwin, which is the cult of ancestors and predecessors Isemo and Iniemo, is another important element. The dead are believed to be living, and looked upon as active members who watch over the affairs of their family. Your hobos believe in the duality of man, i.e., that man consists of two beings, physical body Ugboma, and spiritual body Urhai. It is the Urhai that declares man's destiny and controls the self-realization of man's destiny before he incarnates into the world. Urhai also controls the overall well-being of the man. Ogane is like a monarch who sets his seal on the path of destiny. In the spirit world, Erevwin, man's destiny is ratified and sealed. In the final journey of the Urhai, after transition, the Yorhobo believe the physical body, Ugboma, decays while the Eri is indestructible and joins the ancestors in Erevwin. The elaborate and symbolic burial rites are meant to prepare the departed Urhai for happy reunion with the ancestors. Despite this age-old and complex belief system, the influence of Western civilization and Christianity is fast becoming an acceptable religion in most Yorhobo communities. Many belong to Catholic and New Evangelical denominations. Ifa divination, similar to the Yoruba Ifa and practiced by many West African ethnic groups, is practiced with strings of cowries. There are 1,261 Aho deities, including the one-handed, one-legged mirror holding whirlwind god Aziza. Topic: Notables. Alibaba Akporabom, comedian. Fred Aghogho Broom, senator and industrialist Richard Mof Demijo, actor and politician Harris Agaga, career soldier and diplomat M. G. Ejaf, Yorhobo nationalist, first republic senator and the first principal of Yorhobo College David Ejor, retired Nigerian army and governor of the now defunct Mid-Western region Justice Asiri, actor Kefi, gospel singer and composer Felix Ibru, Nigerian architect, senator and governor Michael Ibru, Nigerian businessman Mudiaga Oje, senior advocate and officer of Nigeria Tanur Ojade, poet and writer Blessing Okagbara, IAAC silver medalist and Olympic bronze medalist 
Essay Oruru Isidore Akpaho, scholar and novelist Ben Okri, poet and novelist Bruce Anobrikpeya, visual artist, sculptor and painter Gamaliel Onosode, administrator and politician Stephen Oru, Minister of Nigeria Ayo Sonomi, businessman Onigu Otite, professor of sociology retired. James Abori, governor of Delta State Obrush Festus Quode, entrepreneur See also Agbasa Your Hobo language References <references>